Here is my basic float setup I use when I'm pike fishing. This is more when I'm on a mobile approach, what fishing a swim for 20 minutes, I'll just flick a flick a dead bait out or a live bait out and swim, leave it on the bung, swimming round, and then move on to the next swim if nothing happens. So here is my basic setup. So this is my basic float setup for pike. Um, as you can see, I've used bread on my real lure, but I have got a 90 pound leader, fluorocarbon leader. So that's about, there's about 20, 20 foot on there, 25 foot I think. So that's just all the way through. Then it comes down to one of these sliding stoppers that can slide up and down your line just to change the depth of your, what you're fishing at. And then down from that you've got your pike float, an inline pike float that can just slide up and down your line till it hits the stopper. So you, like I said, you can alter the depth. And from there, I've just got a little swivel and then instead of wire, I use 90 pound fluorocarbon. And then a little bit of um, cart putty on it. People use lead weight, but I just put a bit of putty on so I can take it on and off if I want to easy. And then size one zero circle hook. And that is basically it. So I'll just run you through that again. Circle hook, a bit of putty to drag your bait down, especially if it's a bit frozen still. Don't want it floating. You can always take that off afterwards if you want. Um, leader, 90 pound fluorocarbon leader. Swivel, float, inline float. Like I said, that just slides. And then you've got your little sliding stopper thing that just goes up and goes down the line just so you can adjust the depth and that is basically it now you see my flow set up I've got a couple of hours at my disposal so let's see if I can bag one on it I was literally getting ready to move swims then and I was watching the water and about a six or seven pound pike has just come out the water like a dolphin right in front of the swim so I've just reeled my bung in very close I'm going to give it another 15 minutes now and see if see if it takes it just put a load of oil in the fish re-chucked it out well re-swung it out to where I've seen that pike and I've just had a bob on the the bung I'm just waiting to see if it comes back you can see the big oil slick there so I'm just waiting to see if it goes again it was just a little bob as though something had bit it or picked it up well, that was about a minute ago so I'm just seeing if anything comes back come on something's taking the bob in it's going it's going Thunder, right, I'm gonna have to strike. Uh, you just seen the take on my bung. Um, I actually got that one in and then the heavens opened. So I just rested it in my landing net, got my rod back out, and before I've had time to let that one go, the um, my ledged one's gone. There's a fish one on a bung, one ledged out on the beeper on the alarm so I'd have to watch it so pretty much similar size there's the first one a few pound what five six five pound I'm not, I'm not quite sure well cracking fish and then slightly bigger oh, yeah it's a bit bigger I've had this one I don't think I've ever had double bubble on um, my pike fishing so made up with that too. So one on the bung and one on the bite alarm. So when I get these back in, I've got about probably an hour left of fishing. Oh, I've got somebody else's line here. 
Anyway, right, let's get these back. At the least you know the bung, the rig works, both rigs. <laughs> 